This is the MGTOW Infinium here with another Infinium short take. This Infinium short take is entitled Continue to Live Without Restraints. My MGTOW brothers, this is just a short PSA to remind you all to continue to live with one of the main benefits of the MGTOW philosophy. That is freedom from the restraints of womanism. If you look at how womanism views and treats men overall, we men are nothing more than mere slaves who should be restrained in every way and any way possible. As well, we as men and particularly MGTOW men are confronted with the restraints of womanism on a day-to-day -day basis. This can range from the restraint of our right to say no to women in any given circumstance. For instance, to this day, it amazes me when women cite the restraint of a man cannot say no to their flirtations, flirtatious advances, no matter what. So, for instance, my brothers, I've told you some of my uh, incidents that have happened to me with women uh, where and I have told women in public who are trying to flirt with me to not talk to me and I have wound up being cussed at, being told I was uh, not able to do so, that I was uh, a homosexual, that I was uh, rude, whatever. But again, this is from the restraint of our right to say no to women in any given circumstance. And going on, it can be the restraint that we men must accept a 304 with a high body count without question. So for instance, if we encounter a 304 who wants to be in relationship with us and we begin to question her high body count or ask her about her body count, we have no right, right to do so in her view. Or the restraint can be that men must do their duty by marrying single mothers. How many times, my brothers, have we been pounded with the thing that we have to do our duty by marrying single mothers, that we as MGTOW men cannot be single, we cannot walk around in this reality as a single man because we must do our duty by marrying a single mother. Again, that comes from the restraint that we as men must do our duty no matter what by marrying single mothers. Or the restraint that a man's resources are automatically those of a woman. How many times, my, my brothers, have we heard what's hers is hers and what's his is hers? So that can go from anything if you cohabitate with a woman and you wind up breaking up with her. She can take everything and anything that's yours. And more so, if any state that you live in allows it to be done legally, she has more so the power to do so. And for instance, if you marry that woman, if you tie the knot, so to speak, the chances are that she will, in a divorce rate, take everything that you have. And so any way that you go, you will eventually lose. And uh, it doesn't matter how long you've been married. There have been cases where men have been married to women many, many years and wound up being divorced raped. There have been cases where the woman long ago divorced a man and then came back seeking more money years after the fact. So again, the restraint that a man's resources are automatically those of a woman. And even further, 
the restraint that the only response to men citing issues between men and women is shaming and censorship. So how many times, my brothers, have you had, uh, for instance, a comment deleted off of YouTube which had no hate speech or no type of foul language, but only it citing the issues between men and women, and that comment was censored? Well, how many times uh, have you been called a homosexual? because you desire not to have a woman in your life because of the issues, because of all the baggage that she may bring to your life. All these things that have happened to us. And it is uh, not lightly said because, again, we men face on a day-to-day -day basis shaming, censorship, being told to shut up, being told that, that something's wrong with us, something's psychologically wrong with us. Everything is being done. But again, only because we have pointed out the issues that women now need to look in the mirror of accountability and start taking accountability for what they have done. My brothers, one of the main benefits as well as the tenets of the MGTOW philosophy is freedom from the restraints of womanism in every way possible. This is why, again, the MGTOW philosophy is so hated by womanists and why we as MGTOW men are considered enemies of the feminist plantation state. This is also why, my brothers, daily embracement of the MGTOW philosophy is important to all of us because the philosophy itself reminds us of our right to be unrestrained and to live free from womanism. Again, be reminded that it is your right as a man to be free and to live free regardless of any restraints of the feminist plantation state. This is the Mekta Infinium, and this has been an Infinium short take. My Mekta brothers, as always, stay safe, stay strong, stay on the Mekta path, and remember, Mekta is the liberation of men's minds. Mekta cannot and will not be stopped.